John Smith from Kirkintillock in East Dunbartonshire. Rod Wilson from Fullwood in Lancashire. Bob Sherlock from Liss in Hampshire. Paul Cole from Newquay in Cornwall. Nick Geyer from Leamington Spa. Lisa Watson from Camden Town in London. Miriam Dunn from Oranmore in Galway. Norman Francis from Ballam in London. Peter Leppard from Wellingborough in Northamptonshire. Mike Belcher from Bromborough on Wirral. Mark Cosgrove from Newell in Surrey. Gillian Gallick from Morley in West Yorkshire. John Brushett from Knowle in the West Midlands, Elizabeth Strachan from Belper in Derbyshire, and Bob Cooper from Bournemouth are all here to play 15 to 1, introduced by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Two previous winners with us today, Gillian Gallick from Morley in West Yorkshire and Bob Cooper from Bournemouth. Welcome back, both of you. We still have three empty places on the finals board to fill with scores above 152. Five weeks to go before the grand final, so there's plenty of time to see plenty of change. On we go with today. Two questions each in the first round, one correct answer from you to survive, and we begin with John Smith from Kirkintillock. John, television. The American actor Jack Lord died in Honolulu in January. Of which police series from the 1970s was he the star? Hawaii Five-O. Rod, please. Still Hawaii Five-0. What did the Five-0 in the title of that series indicate? 50th state. Indeed, that Hawaii was the 50th state. Bob, what sort of advice does Robin Cook, the Foreign Secretary, give in a column he writes for the Scottish Daily newspaper, The Herald? Uh, financial. Horse racing tips. Paul, public libraries. Nine of the ten most popular novels borrowed from public libraries are for the second year running by the same author. Her name, please. Catherine Cookson. Nick, please. Which European capital city lies on the river Spray? Vienna. Berlin. Lisa, television. Who are the target audience of the satellite channels TCC and Nickelodeon? Children. Yes, TCC, in fact, is the children's channel. Miriam, occupying much of the western coast of South America, its capital is Santiago. Which country is that? Chile. Norman, please. Derived from the Latin, what's the alternative name for the service of morning prayer in the Anglican Church? Matins. Peter, please. Literature. Robert Louis Stevenson and the novel Kidnapped. The name, please, of the hero and narrator of Kidnapped. Bob Hawkins. Now you're thinking of Jim Hawkins in Treasure Island. This is David Balfour. And Mike, English poetry. What name is given to a lyric poem of 14 decasyllabic lines? Stanza. Sonnet. Mark, sport and a game of polo played on horses. How many players are there on each side? Six. Four. Gillian, ancient history. The name, please, of the system of writing made up of pictures and symbols as used in ancient Egypt. Hieroglyphics. John, please. What are the storting, the Folketing, and the althing in Norway, Denmark and Iceland, respectively? Railways. The National Parliaments, Elizabeth, the Winter Sports Resort of Aspen, the US Air Force Academy and the US Mint at Denver. Which state are they in? Colorado. Bob, please. In which European country are the Dutch speakers called Flemings and the French speakers called Walloons? Um, Belgium. And John, your second question, the United Nations. On which Mediterranean island is there a United Nations peacekeeping force? Cyprus. Rod, please. Newspapers. What's the name of the parent company that owns The Times, The Sun, The Sunday Times and The News of the World? I'm sorry, I don't know. News International. And Bob, what is the pastoral staff or crook of a bishop called? A cliff. Crozier. Paul, please. The Royal Family. Prince William. How old is he? 17. 15. And Nick? Personal finance, a new 12th index linked issue and a new 45th fixed interest issue were launched in January. Issues of what? Testaments. National savings certificates. Lisa, the New Testament. Among the 12 apostles were two pairs of brothers. Either pair, please. Um, Mark and Luke. Simon or Peter and Andrew and James and John. Miriam. Newspapers. Garfield, Faith, Hope and Sue and The Gambles. Cartoon strips in which daily newspaper? Daily Mail. 
The Express. Norman? The USA. Who is the Vice President of the USA? Bob Dole. Al Gore. Bob Dole was a losing candidate last time round. And Peter, still the USA. Governor's Island, Ellis Island and Liberty Island are small islands in the bay of which city? New York. Mike, please. In which group of islands is the Bishop Rock Lighthouse sighted? Silly Isles. Mark, please. In a German town, which building is known as the Rathaus? Spelled R-A-T-H-A-U-S. Rathaus. The town hall. Gillian, please. Sport and horse racing. At which race course are there two courses called the July Course and the Rowley Mile? Epsom. Newmarket. John, please. Opera. The Nightingale. Oedipus Rex. The Rake's Progress. The Russian-born composer, please. Stravinsky. Yes, Igor Stravinsky. Elizabeth, in Greek mythology, what name is given to the personification of the spirit of vengeance? <coughs> Nemesis. And Bob, weights and measures. Which imperial unit of weight is equal to 50.8 kilograms? A hundred weight. It is. <laughs> and two down, 13 to go. Philip? And they are Bob Sherlock and Nick Geyer. And of the remaining 13 contestants, two still have their three lives intact. <laughs> Famous quotations, John, to start round two. This one from Plutarch. Caesar's wife must be what? Caesar's friend. <laughs> Above suspicion. Rod, in which English county does the whole of the Lake District National Park lie? Cumbria. A number, please, Robin. Uh, number 15, please. Bob, who is the leader of the Ulster Unionist Party, the largest political party in Northern Ireland in terms of parliamentary seats? David Trimble. A number, please, Bob. Number four, please. History of the USA, Paul. On what date in 1776 was the Declaration of Independence adopted by Congress? July the 4th. Yes, a number? Uh, number nine. British history, Peter. England and Scotland were united in 1707 during the reign of which monarch? James I and James VI. Queen Anne. Again, please, Paul. Uh, number eight. And on the same subject, Norman, during the reign of which monarch were Great Britain and Ireland united in 1801? George IV. George III. Again, please, Paul. Uh, Fourteen. Germany, Elizabeth. What in Germany is the Deutschland lead? Parliament. The national anthem. Again, please, Paul. Number 11. Civil aviation, Mark. What call sign is used in radio communications by British Airways flights? BA. Speedbird. Again, please, Paul. Uh, 13. John, theatre, The Doctor's Dilemma, Man and Superman, Androcles and the Lion. The playwright, please. Samuel Beckett. George Bernard Shaw. Again, please, Paul. Uh, number one. The Bible, the Gospel according to St. John. Be not faithless, but believing. To which of the twelve apostles did Jesus speak those words? Thomas. Yes, doubting Thomas, John. A uh, number, please. Number ten, please. Back to the USA, Mike. Which state is known as the Lone Star State? and has a single star on its flag. Texas. A number, please, Mike. Number four. Paul, who is the present Prime Minister of Israel? Benjamin Netanyahu. Who? Benjamin Netanyahu. No, you're ah, on the, yeah. nearly there. It's Benjamin Netanyahu. Again, please. Number six. And BBC Radio, Lisa. The name, please, of the Radio 4 programme for people with a visual handicap. Don't know. It's called In Touch. Again, please. Number nine. Peter, science. Which Austrian physicist has given his name to a unit for measuring the speed of sound in relation to the speed of an object? Epstein. Uh, Einstein. No. Mac. Ernst Mac. Again, please. Number 15. Bob, the Bible, Genesis chapter 9. And he drank of the wine and was drunken. Who is the first man in the Bible to be described as drunken? Noah. Yes, a number? Two, please. And Rod, mathematics. What term is used for any triangle which does not contain a right angle? Equilateral. No, it's an oblique triangle. Again, please, Bob. Number eight, please. Television, Norman. The name, please, of the dribbling Australian attaché for cultural affairs created by Barry Humphreys for television. His name? Yes, the name of the character, please. 
you do know, don't you, Sir Les Patterson? Again, please. Number uh, 13, please. John, Frederick Temple held the position from 1896 to 1902. His son, William Temple, held it from 1942 to 1944. Which position? Chancellor of the Exchequer. They were both Archbishops of Canterbury. Bob, please again. Um, number seven, please. Sailing, Miriam. What naval title is often given to presidents of yacht clubs? Commodore. Yes, it is, Miriam. A number, please. Twelve. And Gillian, history of the Olympics. Only five British women have ever won Olympic gold medals in track and field athletics. Five women. Two of the five, please. Mary Rand. Yes. Um... Mary Rand, Anne Packer, Mary Peters, Tessa Sanderson, Sally Gunnell. Again, please. Two, please. And Rod, science. What word describes the delay or time interval between the transmission of a radio signal and its detection by a receiver? Uh, Does the shift. It's lag. Again, please. Fourteen. And Elizabeth. This is the Bible. A book of the Old Testament is named after him, and his name has become synonymous with patience. His name. Job. A number, please. One, please. John, to which season of the year does the adjective hibernal relate? Autumn. Winter. Again, please, Elizabeth. Ten, please. Mike, on the same subject, for winter time it is hibernation. What term is used to refer to the state of dormancy in which certain animals spend the summer? Very no. It's Eastervation. Again, please, Elizabeth. Six. Lisa, mathematics and computing. The hexadecimal system, a number system used in computing, takes which number as its base? Hexadecimal. Ten. That was the decimal part. The hexa was a six. Seven. Sixteen. Again, please, Elizabeth. Twelve. Medicine. Which parts of the body might be affected by strabismus? The eyes. Yes, it's a squint. A number? Four. And Paul, the rights of man, the age of reason and common sense. The 18th, 19th century English author, please. Uh, sorry, I don't know. Thomas Paine. Again, please. Gillian. One. This is South America, John. People of which South American city are called Paulistas? Sao Paulo. A number, please, John. Ten, please. This is Medicine Mike. What name is given to any artificial device which does duty for a bodily organ or member, a glass eye or a false limb, for example? Prosthesis. Yes, prosthesis. A number, please. Number 14. Geography, Elizabeth. What name is given to the often fan-shaped plain of alluvial deposits at the mouth of a river? A delta. It is. A number, please. Fifteen. Technology, Bob. In the recording industry, what do the initials DAT, D-A-T, stand for? Uh, digital audio tape. A number, Bob. Number 11, please. Music, Mark. What term is used to describe a male voice pitched between bass and tenor? Sorry. Baritone. Again, please, Bob. Number 10, please. And Mike, Proverbs. Enough is as good as what? A feast. Yes. A number, please. 14. Elizabeth, the 822 feet high extinct volcano Arthur's Seat overlooks which British city? Edinburgh. A number, please. And seven. This is quotations, Miriam, from the 15th century in the words of Thomas Akempis. Man proposes, but God... Disposes. He does. Uh, Fifteen. Nature, Bob. Coir, C-O-I-R, is a natural fibre obtained from the fruit of which tree? Coconut tree. A number, please. Number one. And, John, by what name were the supporters of the deposed King James II and his descendants known? Jack A number, please. Fourteen, please. Elizabeth, Ellesmere, Port, Widnes and Runcorn. Which county are they all in? Cheshire. A number, please. Ten. Please. Mike, Edward VII and until 1917 George V, were members of the house of Saxe-Coburg-Gotha. Of which European country is Saxe-Coburg-Gotha the present ruling house? Spain. Belgium. Again, please, Elizabeth. Fifteen. Bob, universities. There is a Trinity College at Oxford and one at Cambridge. Eight other colleges at Oxford and Cambridge also share names. Two of those other eight, please. Um, Jesus. Yes. And Christ. No. Jesus, Queen's, St John's, Magdalen, Corpus Christi, St Catherine's, Pembroke and Wolfson. Again, please. Seven. And Miriam, this is science and physics. What letter is used to represent acceleration due to gravity? 
and G, as in G-force, that kind of thing. Elizabeth, please. One. John, with what is the branch of science known as cryogenics concerned? Don't know. Very low temperatures. Again, please, Elizabeth. Twelve. Gillian, languages. Which language, closely related to Hindi, is written in Arabic script and is the national language of Pakistan? Uh, Urdu. <laughs> well, I think that was a pretty tough round and a high standard. After the break, Miriam Dunn from Oranmore in Galway, Elizabeth Strachan from Belper in Derbyshire, and Bob Cooper from Bournemouth will be here for the final. Do please stay with us. Surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Miriam Dunn, a housewife from Oran Moor in Galway, Elizabeth Strachan, a retired school teacher from Belper in Derbyshire, and Bob Cooper, a chartered engineer from Bournemouth. Thank you. Welcome back. Fingers on the buzzers, Miriam, Elizabeth, Bob, and here we go. What common two word term describes the lowest hypothetical temperature on the Kelvin scale? Bob? Absolute zero. It does indeed. The new forest lies entirely in which English county? Bob? Hampshire. It does. What name is given to the practice of certain religions by which evil spirits are said to be driven out of the place they inhabit or the person they possess? Elizabeth? Exorcism. On we go. Mathematics. The cube of two is eight. What is the highest whole number to have a cube which is less than 100? <clears throat> It's tricky to think about in three seconds, but it's four. Because once you get to five, you're up to 125. Television. On which programme are Ginny Goulden, Oz Clark and Anthony Worrell Thompson? Bob? The Food Show. I need the title of the programme, please. It is a food programme. Mm. No, I thought that was no. the title. On BBC Two, it's Food and Drink. Mm. On we go, please. Art and Famous Paintings. The Birth of Venus, which shows the naked goddess standing on a seashell. Miriam? Botticelli. Indeed. What event takes place annually in May in the grounds of the Royal Hospital in central London? Bob? Chelsea Flower Show. Three correct answers, Bob. The game is opened up and it's question or nominate. What would you like? Um, nominate Elizabeth, please. Elizabeth, Japanese history. What name was given to the Japanese warrior class between the 12th and 19th centuries? Samurai. Question or nominate? Uh, question. Please. Which year in the second decade of this century? Captain Scott reached the South Pole. The Olympic Games were held in Stockholm. The Titanic sank. 28. 1912. Fingers back on the buzzers, please. The term Iron Curtain described the barrier between the Soviet bloc and Western Europe. What phrase... Bamboo Curtain. Pardon? Bamboo Curtain. Yes. Question or nominate? Nominate Bob, please. Bob, the United States, which is the only one of the 50 of the United States to have the word West in its title or name. West Virginia. Again, please, Miriam. Question or nominate? Nominate Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the daughter of an Indian chief. She married an Englishman, John Rolfe. She died off Gravesend in 1617. Who did? Pocahontas. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Bob. Literary quotations, Bob. Reader, I married him. A line from a famous 19th century novel. Who married whom? Uh, Jane Eyre married Mr. Darcy. Jane Eyre married Mr. Rochester. Elizabeth, question or nominate? Question, please. Look at this. What is special about Brailsham Castle in Mayfield in East Sussex, which has its own dungeon, great hall, moat and drawbridge, and was in the news recently? It's actually just been built by Yes, it's, in fact, it's yes. brand new. Yes. yes. Built by hand by its owner, John Mew, over the last six years. Question or nominate? Question, please. Which two words mean goods lost in this shipwreck and found floating on the sea and goods thrown overboard to lighten a ship? Flotsam and Jetsam. Question or nominate? Question. Yes. In which London square is the American Embassy? Grosvenor Square. Question or nominate? Question. History of films. The 1955 film Rebel Without a Cause had the publicity line The Bad Boy from the Good Family. Who played the bad boy? James Dean. Question or nominate? Question. In what way is the name Basil Spence connected with the city of Coventry? Uh, he 
It was the architect for Coventry Cathedral. Question or nominate? Question. The arts. The ENO is based at the Coliseum Theatre in London. What is the ENO? English National Opera. Question or nominate? Question. The phonetic spelling of the abbreviation for Standard Oil provided the name for which large oil company? SO, Standard Oil. Fingers back on the buzzers, please. This is sayings and phrases. What phrase has come into common use to describe the system under which motorists leave their cars on the outskirts of towns or cities and complete their journeys by public transport? Park and ride. Fingers back on the buzzers. Politics in the United Kingdom. Which political party was founded in 1981 and formally wound up in 1990? The SDP, the Social Democratic Party. Television. Mr. Rumbold, Mr. Granger, Miss Brahms and Mrs. Slocum. Characters from which BBC? Elizabeth? Are you being served? Question or nominate? Question. 19th century American history. The Daltons, the Clantons, the Youngers. What were they? Pardon me, James. Famous outlaw gangs. <laughs> you have to leave You had a quiet time mm. so far, Miriam, in this final. It's all down to you now. You have your three lives intact, so there's plenty of ammunition because there are 16 questions as well, and you have 21 points, so let's go on from there. Films on television. PPV films require prepayment. What does PPV stand for? Pay-per-view. Of which natural phenomena is seismology the study? Earthquakes. Literally meaning black beast, what French expression means a pet aversion? Pet noir. Sport. In which sport are there events called the 4,000 metres pursuit, the 40 kilometres points race and the motor paced race? Cycling. History of the United States. In which city was the United States Declaration of Independence signed and the US Constitution adopted? Philadelphia. The European Union. In which city does the European Court of Human Rights sit? The Hague. Strasbourg. That's the International Court of Justice in The Hague. Botany. Cuban, Sumatra and Havana are varieties of which plant or crop? Tobacco. Astronomy. Which constellation in the Northern Hemisphere is named after a pair of mythological twins? Gemini. History. Which king did Robert Catesby and Guy Fawkes intend to kill by placing barrels of gunpowder below the Houses of Parliament? James V. James I of England, 6th of Scotland. Scotland. Plate tectonics is the scientific study of what? The movement of the continental plates. The well, it's the movement of the Earth's crust. The Battle of Toledo was an early conflict in which 20th century European war, which began in 1936 and ended in 1939. The Spanish Civil War. Medicine. Cephalalgia is a medical term for what very common complaint? Headache. Literature. The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Les Miserables, the most famous novels of which 19th century French writer? Victor Hugo. What are Gay Meadow in Shrewsbury, Vetch Field in Swansea, and Deepdale in Preston? I don't know. Football grounds. Oh. <laughs> well, you made them go a long way from 21 to 131, but no place on the finals board, Miriam. But go away, have a rest, and come back and join us later in the year. Thank well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was worth your journey from Ireland. It was, it was worth indeed. it. That's it for this week. We'll be back on Monday. See you then. Richard Whiteley had better watch out next when there's a whiff of mutiny aboard the good ship Countdown.